We've had a busy couple of weeks. Flat earthers, ass eaters, Antifa, dog fuckers, and of course the obligatory feminists. I think I've covered just about everything. So, what to do now? I know, let's check in on the other kin and see what new brand of fuckery they're peddling in their special snowflake shit show. And it just so happens, I have one ready for you. Take it away, Raven! Hi guys, it's Raven, and today we're going to be talking about other kin. I just fucking said that! Did you even listen to my introduction? What the fuck was that? A selfie, a picture of your dog, and a pentagram? And how the fuck is a pentagram connected to other kin anyway? Unless you're well into the magics, which, to be fair, if you're mental in one way, you're probably mental in another way too. Either way, you've got some explaining to do. Anyway. Other kin is a person who has a non-human spirit or soul. Okay, cool. If your soul is a wolf though, is it constantly trying to make you sniff other people's asses? Or piss up that tree behind you to mark your territory? It's always some cool majestic beast, isn't it? It's never like a worm. Like whenever someone's all, oh, I was an Arabian princess in a previous life. Why is it never a disabled person from Birmingham or anything like that? I call bullshit. Now this... Um, soul or spirit can be an earthly creature, an other realm creature, or an otherworldly creature. Fucking hell, that sounds like some real Scientology shit. Rain it in, Raven. There's only so much I can handle, love. Um, this does not include fiction kin or robot kin or, hold on, I don't know how to say this. Sanguinary? Sanguinary vampires? Sanguinary. Sanguine is a blood red colour. And if you're a fan of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, it is also the colour of the night, my brother. But let's not get off topic. You get robot kin? Well, how the fuck does that work? And what the fuck is fiction kin? You have the soul of a Philip Pullman novel? This is getting a bit fucking ridiculous, isn't it? And this is because none of them have souls. Like, robots do not have souls, and fictional characters or fiction kin do not have souls. Yeah, it does kind of bring the whole having a soul thing into question though, but we've all seen that episode of The Simpsons where Bart sells his soul and all of a sudden automatic doors refuse to open for him. Oh, oh, Simpson kin. Is that a thing? Who would I be? I'd be a poo. Therians are a subcategory of other kin. Now, uh, not all other kin are... Therians and not all Therians are other kin. Oh, here we go. Someone else trying to start a race war. Because Therians are very specifically earthly creatures. They are creatures that exist on planet Earth or that have existed on planet Earth. Okay, so can I be other kin kin? On the outside, I appear perfectly normal and a little bit handsome, but I actually have the soul of a complete fucking idiot. Some examples of other kin are dragons, uh, fairies, uh, demon kin and angel kin. Unless you've got the soul of a Komodo, or bearded dragon, or even a dragonfly, none of those things actually exist, do they? I mean, neither does someone having the soul of an animal, but we're picking our battles here, you know? Let's not destroy the girl completely. And if you guys want me to make a video about any of those, I would love to make a video about Angel Kin and Demon King because I think they're fascinating. So if anyone wants you to do a video on any of those subjects, they can go suck a dick because you want to do those two specifically. Your audience is so lucky. The next part of this video is going to be about how to find out you are in other kin. Oh shit, a lot of dreams are going to be shattered tonight then. If I find out I have the soul of anything other than a Poonahasapima Petalan, I'm going to kick off. Um, the biggest thing that I would tell you guys is to meet and talk to as many other kin of varying species, I guess is a word I could say in this situation. Well, fuck it. You're the expert, right? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know what species they are, though. And what if they're lying about their animal soul just so everyone thinks they're really, really cool? Talk to every single kind of other kin that you can find. Learn from sincere people. Learn from people that truly believe in what other kin and Therians are. Okay, chat to people who genuinely believe their body is occupied by the soul of an animal. Sounds perfectly safe, not at all weird, and there's no chance one of them will try to eat me or hump my leg. Fuck off! If they actually believe that, like not trying to be special or different or whatever, I'm not going near them. Never mind how much of a cunt I'd be about them believing not only that fairies exist, but that they have the soul of one. Nah, we'd all be in danger. Don't go to these people that are doing it just to be cool or because they think it's interesting for the time being. Go to people who truly 
know that their soul is a non-human soul. Nah, fuck that. Belief is a powerful thing, and it often turns people into fucking psychos. Look at George Bush Jr. Invades Iraq and says God told him to do it. Shut up, George, you fucking madman. See if something strikes a chord with you, and if it doesn't, that's completely okay. Like... Not every human being on this planet is going to be a Therian or an Otherkin or a Dragonkin or a Fairykin or whatever. Well, thank fuck for that. Could you imagine? There's already far too much emphasis on the differences between us all. The last thing we need is dragons and fairies fighting in the fucking street. Some people are just humans and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That sounded a bit patronizing and you can fuck off with your there's nothing wrong with that. First off, you're not a fucking wolf. You're just as boring as the rest of us. Deal with it. And secondly, humans are shit. We fuck everything up. Humans suck. Except Except for my gorgeous patrons. Those guys, they can do no wrong. So I guess that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Sorry this video is super short. I have a couple announcements for you. No. Well, this was bullshit. I thought we were going to find out how to tell if we're other kin or angel kin or fuck up kin or whatever. Here I am, still unsure if I have the soul of an Indian shopkeeper residing in my tired body. What if it turns out he's actually Pakistani and I've been offending him all this time? Or even worse, what if I'm not other kin at all and there's no such fucking thing? What would I do to feel special then? How would I be able to smile inwardly at the thought that I'm different from everyone else. No, I'm sure it's all real and is in no way synonymous with some kind of mental defect that fucking everyone seems to have nowadays. Thanks for watching guys and remember, Otherkin backwards is Nick Retho and makes the same amount of sense.